Chapter 5 covers the 12-bit analog-to-digital converter, or ADC-12. The TM4C123GH6PM has two of these ADCs. One channel of the ADC-12 is connected to an internal temperature sensor. You'll use that sensor in the lab to monitor the temperature of the microcontroller and experiment with the ADC-12. Tiva C-Series microcontrollers feature two ADC modules, ADC-0 and ADC-1, that can be used to convert continuous analog voltages to discrete digital values. Each one of these modules has 12 bits of resolution, can operate independently, and can execute different sample sequences. You can sample any of the shared analog input channels, single-ended or differential, and you can generate interrupts and triggers. Due to the low pin count of the Launchpad device, there is a fixed reference between the analog voltage and ground and 12 shared I.O. pins. There are four programmable sample conversion sequencers per ADC that we'll deal with on the next slide. Separate analog power and ground pins keep the noise between the digital and analog sides low. There are five ways to trigger a measurement with software when a timer expires on an analog comparison event or using a GPIO pin. Hardware averaging can take 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, or 64 samples and average them together to generate each result. Each ADC has 8 digital comparators for a total of 16. There are two analog comparators for the device. Optionally, you can phase shift the sample time between the ADC modules between 22.5 and 337.5 degrees. The analog to digital converters collect and sample their data using programmable sequencers. Each sample sequence is a fully programmable series of consecutive samples that allows the ADC to collect data from multiple input sources without having to be reconfigured. Each one of the modules has four sample sequencers that control the sampling and data capture. They are identical except for the number of samples that they can capture and the depth of the associated FIFO. In order to configure a sample sequence, the following information is required for each sample. The input source, whether the mode is single-ended or differential, whether or not to generate an interrupt, and whether this is the final sample in the sequence. Each sample sequencer can then transfer its data from the FIFO independently using a dedicated DMA channel. In Lab 5, you'll write code to make measurements using the on-chip 12-bit A to D converter. To keep things simple, you'll use the internal temperature sensor as an input. You can then use your finger to warm the microcontroller on the launchpad board to see the temperature change.